Good morning. Um, started a bit late today, um, so it's going to have to be a short one. Um, but yesterday we were in the process of um, trying to do an import into the CLI for Snippet Pixie next. Um, we have the config set up, um, and we've got some tests so that we can do things like um, import a wibble.json and it's going to pass file name wibble.json to an import function. Um, but now uh, we need to actually do some uh, setup for that. So we've got, where's the thingy? Yeah, before we can do anything in main to actually deal with the import here, uh, we need to actually build a function to call. Uh, and that's what we're doing now. So here, uh, what we've decided is we're going to take um, the file name um, and whether we're going to force an update or not. Um, so there's a concept of you can, when you import um, an export file from Snippet, um, by default it will not update any existing snippets with the same abbreviation. Um, but you can force that and say, yeah, no, I want my, I know this is a good file and I want all the snippets to be updated that already exist. Um, so we've got a few things to do's from yesterday. Read and check file format. Uh, get a file version, get existing snippets for comparison, and then iterate over imported snippets and add if new. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. For the moment, we're not going to deal with force because um, we haven't got any way to actually pass that across yet. We haven't done that in the config setup. So read and check file format. Okay. Um, I guess that we should check whether it exists. So, um, well, there's os.write file there. Is there a file exists? Let's check the API. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, where is it going to be? Package. Get standard. <clears throat> Let's see if we've got it here. Functions. Got a read file. That might be good enough, because I'm always going to get an error if it doesn't exist. Hmm. And there isn't anything though, is there? Um, okay, so... What else have we got? Write file... seen any other one there's no is there like an exists no i expected it to be kind of file exists or something like that it's probably in like um io utils what it's called It's exist. OK. 
right? Ah, okay, file system uh, exists. Interesting. So presumably that's what I'm going to get back. Anyway, don't need to worry about that, I think. At the moment, we'll just try read file and uh, if it fails it fails and we'll return the error so we have contents let's do that just like we did above contents or error from uh, OS dot read file file name if it's not equal to nil return error um Okay, I want to check that this is JSON. So before I do the check file version, I want to make sure it is a thing. Um, I believe I can do JSON valid on that. I'm pretty sure I saw that when I was doing the Marshall stuff. So, um, Know what the format is. let's pretend let's assume it's an I can use an if on it um, Jason dot there we go errors dot new um, file does not contain valid JSON data should do. These are all things I'm going to have to verify at some point in tests, I guess. Um, okay, so check file version. So here's where the fun begins. We have, we have, he says, export header. And this is consistent at the moment. Um, between the old and new version. So if I marshal in the data. Rather unmarshal <laughs> um, the contents. I should be able to grab these values and check that I understand it. Oh, now I can't unmarshal it if I don't understand it. So, Or can I? I can, can't I? 
I can try. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And then I can check to see, right, okay, well, I'm marshaled, but there's still the versions. Dodgy. Okay, what we'll do what we'll do is try. The normal export format. And we'll see what happens. I'll do a test on this at some point. Because I might be able to I might be able to pick out data. Oh, okay. I know what I'm going to do. Let's see if I can just do a read. If I can just unmarshal on the export header. Then I can determine which format to use. Let's do that. Let's try that anyway. It's worth a go. Uh, so now I need to understand how to unmarshal. Um... What did I do for marshalling? Okay. That's just obviously data. Okay, I think I need to quickly check the docs. And there's no unmarshal example. Oh, where is there? Examples. On Marshall. Okay. JSON blob, that's my data. Here's my data type. Create a variable of my type. Unmarshal data into type, into variable. If there's an error, bail. Okay. Simple enough. I have a type. I have data. I think we're okay. Uh, is that definitely that is bytes good? Um, okay, so I have a variable, but don't have a variable. Um, so um, far header. Yes, far header. Uh, is going to be yeah 
Yeah, let's do that. Export header. And then we're going to do... Header air equals JSON on Marshall contents. So we've done it wrong because it's into me like that. To the oops, the address of header. And then Bow and arrow if we need to. I think today we'll just get to the point where we've got the data. Um, so, because I do have a hard stop at 10. So, in theory, we've just done marshalled. And now we should be able to... I guess switch on the version. Okay, one thing we're going to have to test there. is whether a missing element causes errors or not. I don't know. Um, okay, I might have to break this down into smaller functions to then run it through unit tests. Yeah, because this function's actually got a little bit too much in the way of responsibilities, so we do need to break it up so we can test it, I think. But, okay, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, okay, so I need to just check the version. We have... Generator and version. We don't really care about the generator. Could Could return the data here. Well, this is getting a bit too much responsibility now as well. Uh, well, right, we'll just assume we've got it. So switch um, meta dot version um, case one hundred one. Do the thing. Yeah. 
then is it default? Yeah, default to do the other thing. So let's do uh, we have got export format helmet. So we're going to do another one here. So uh, equals. Yeah, so now we read the whole thing again into data. Um, JSON unmarshal contents um, into the address of data, which we don't have yet. Uh, Pain in the butt, that is. Okay. Let's do that. Um, data export format. And we're going to do one, two, three, four, five. Same thing. One oh one. So it looks like in Go variables are properly scoped to the switch case there. Then it's not complaining. That's good. Um, so that means we've got some data. What we need to then do is actually grab the snippets from there. Um, and we have just data for that. Yeah. So in this is where it gets tricky. So in the the new format, which is much simpler, we'll be able to just pluck out. snippets but in the old duff format we need to find the snippets which in theory is going to be the first and only element array element of the array Okay. Right, let's do the easy one first, he says. Okay, so we should have um let's uh, grab so We need snippets here, so oops, not that. Uh, var snippets is a 
slice of, yeah, uh, snippet snippet. So in theory, what can we do here then to grab it? I have no idea. Got to pluck it out. Snippets. Let's equal to data. Data. Not snippets. Okay. <laughs> I need some accounts. Um, okay, that well, that's okay, but I'm pretty sure that's going to go bang at some point um, because I'm going to. You're going to have like files with no snippets, as in like not even the element. So. <clears throat> Excuse me, it all depends on how far this goes in the unmarshal. If the unmarshal actually checks the format and says, right, there's no snippets, I've thrown an error, then we're good. But we'll find out later. I need to do some unit tests for that. Uh, so here, in the one on one, it's going to be a little bit difficult. We've got snippets is equal to data dot data and now I've got trouble here can I Export format is a slice. I wonder I wonder whether I need to I need to pluck Do I just need to range over it or something? Mm 
Okay, let's see if I can do a quick and dirty this. And we'll see. I'm pretty sure that's going to go back. Now, why? Oh, because it's been set, but not red, isn't it? I mean, it's there. So let's do this. Let's um let's do a quick experiment. Uh we will do um Do that and we'll just do snippets. Um, shall we just see what we get? Haven't really got much time here. Um, so what have we got going here? Nothing. Uh, so right. Quick. Okay. Everything's fine there. Bring up this. Okay, so here I haven't got any files or anything yet. So, but I do know I've got a bunch of snippets in there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, snippet export. Uh, how did you do it? So, now we've got snippets 2022. So, in theory, Um, so if I let's bring that up. So if we look at that. Version two I one and we have snippets and we have all these things. Uh, quite a lot actually. Um, so let's try a quick snippet pixie uh, import. Oh, I'm not going to autocomplete because I'm going to anything like that. Let's do. Uh, uh, snippets. Why is it not autocompleting? That's a pain. See what we get. I might go bang. It did nothing. Oh, because I haven't hooked up anything. Oh man. Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna have time. Um I gotta go. Alright, so stick a thing here. Um, actually, OK, 
case import get it real quick and dirty here Error. equals um export dot read file um Yeah, C args file name. Pulse for the bool. Which needs to be string okay I go very quick and dirty now Interesting. Okay, right. Okay, yeah, I, I, I can't carry on at the moment. So it doesn't understand the timestamp. I need to fix that. It's a bit weird, actually. Anyway, I'm out of time. I'm well out of time, in fact. Um, so I'll have to come back to that some other time. Um, so, yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Um, and until next time, take care. Bye.